Hi everybody, Stephen Gordon here again and today I want to share some tips for bunker play. I've been doing, anybody that follows me on Snapchat will have seen me doing a few bunker lessons recently and there's just a couple of little golden nuggets I want to share with you that should help you escape these sand traps every time. The first thing you've got to understand is your choice of club. Preferably, you should be choosing something that is high and loft, so like your sand wedge, your lob wedge. Uh, I have a few people who came and were using pitching wedges. You don't want to use your pitching wedge. Sand wedge, lob wedge, those are the clubs you want to choose. Next thing is to understand how these are designed to work. There's actually a, a, a part on the bottom of the club, it's called bounce. I'll hopefully, I'll filter in a couple of wee graphics here to show you what the bounce is. But it's essentially the angle from the leading edge down to the bottom part of the club, that angle, that's bounce. So when it's soft and fluffy, what you want to do is open up the club face so we get more bounce. If I come in a little bit closer, we should see this. So look, if I open up the face, we see this bottom edge becomes more pronounced. And when the sand is firm, when it's compact, especially after it's rained, then you don't want to open the club face. Because what's going to happen is that the bounce will skid across the sand and you can blade the ball. You, you should think of bounce as the equivalent of, uh, it's like floats on a water plane. Stops the plane from diving into the water, makes it skid across. And the bounce on a wedge does the same thing. It helps the club to sort of bounce back out of the sand. Now, a couple of quick tips for playing bunker shots. This is the easiest shot in the game as far as I can see. The reason being, we don't actually need to hit the golf ball. So the first thing you've got to think about is, you're trying to hit the sand behind the ball, not the ball itself. So your focus should be on a spot about an inch or two behind the ball. And it's good practice to draw a little line when you're doing this and get that feedback of where the club is entering the sand. So we're trying to hit about an inch behind the ball and you're trying to remove that part of the sand. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to explode that bit of sand up onto the green. Another key sort of element here is to make sure that you keep the club head moving and through to a full finish. For most people, what they'll do, what you'll see is they'll do things like this. There'll not be enough speed there, enough momentum to get the ball up and out. So what I like to see is a good full finish, follow through get right round. That's not bad. Now, uh, another quick tip, plug bunker shots. It's another thing we all hate to see, balls plugged. First thing you gotta do is evaluate it, have a look at it. Do I have much of a lip to go over? If yes, if it's you've got a big lip, then this might not necessarily be the right direction to go. The best shot might be to go back out over here and give myself a, a good chance at another up and down rather than playing another shot out of the bunker. But if you can, if you think you can get it up over the lip, here's, there's a couple of ways that I like to see people play it. Number one is to put the ball a bit further back in your stance. And essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick the club straight up and slam down. We're really looking to move a lot of sand here. Really looking to hit down and shift a lot of sand Hopefully the ball's gonna get up and out. There's enough energy to get it up and out. And what you should expect is the ball to come out low and run a lot. So it's a real bonus. If you keep it on the green, that's a real bonus. If you actually get it close to the hole, that's phenomenal. So the result from here, from a plug lie, is just to get it up and out and onto the green. So a lot of power down in behind the ball. Get it exploding up onto the green, covered in sand. That's what you're looking to do, to get it up and out. That's run away off the green there now, but it's out. Another way of doing it, another way I've seen uh, some players deal with the plug lie, is what they will do is they'll keep the ball up in the front and they'll actually present the heel of the club because this is the part where there's a little less bounce. They're gonna use the heel of the club and they're gonna use it to dig in behind the ball and same sort of thing, a lot of power, trying to get it to pop up. That's not a bad effort there. I've kept that one on the green. So, a couple of quick tips for playing bunker shots. 
Uh, I'll share one more with you. What about for those who are trying to get it up quickly out of the bunker? Uh, say it's quite a high lip. Well, first thing you've got to do is take your highest loft of club and fan it open. We want to use a lot of loft. Put it up towards the front of your stance and you're looking again to take about an inch of sand behind it and try and keep the loft on the club as you, you're really trying to throw it underneath the ball. Slide the club head underneath the ball. You keep the loft on it, pops it up. So there's a couple of quick tips for you on how to play out of bunkers. Hopefully that helps you in your golf. And if you have any questions, don't forget to ask. Feel free to like or share the video and uh, post some comments underneath. Love to have your feedback.